Hey guys, welcome back. Been a while, been broke. Work's been super slow, so I haven't really had any money to get started back on my camper. Taking stuff apart, it's really kind of depressing, really, after spending all that time and effort and money to get it built. Kind of really sucks. I'm gonna break it all down just to throw most of it out. Well, chalk it up to a very expensive learning experience. The next one will be better. What I'm doing today, if you've you know, completely ignored the title, I'm going to be starting a new project. A uh, little temporary thing. Uh, I did take the solar panel off the camper. Uh, disconnected the battery and all that good stuff. I've got a couple of camping trips, one coming up at the end of February and then again at the beginning of April. And normally that would be an issue not having a camper and I've got tents, but I really don't want to use tents. I kind of got accustomed to sleeping on an actual mattress. But, as you can see here, got rid of the BMW. Got a new vehicle so I could actually run limousines and whatnot. It's my next income venture that I've got going on. So I got picked me up a Expedition Platinum. And the huge benefit of this, other than having a better towing capacity, is the interior is absolutely massive. Now, as I said, I've got a temporary project coming up. I've picked up a bunch of hardware, bolts and nuts and such. And this nice, heavy-duty chunk of aluminum. Today, I'm going to be fabricating a bracket to put on the roof rack of my expedition. So I can hook up my solar panel to it when I go camping and use the camper battery instead of my vehicle battery for my refrigerator that I just got. A couple other little toys down here. I got a new hitch basket with a box on it, which is pretty neat. Probably should have made a video of that, actually, now thinking about it. But yeah, so without much additional fanfare, I'm going to go ahead and get started. And hope you enjoy the video.
Well, this situation didn't work. I was hoping it would. In theory, it was sound. Made these two short. I was trying to save some material on the bracket piece and ended up wasting a ton. So, went to Lowe's, got another bracket, got some actual bolts. Gonna modify this hardware here. Right on like that. So I can put it on the roof rack. I'll get back to it then. Okay, after a lot of self-reflection and a little bit of tinkering, I decided I'm not going to need a new bracket. After sitting there and thinking about it for a while, I've decided to widen the holes here to accommodate the bolts, custom mount this bracket and this bracket, and then mount as far forward on that one as I can, and use the solar panel itself as the mounting bracket and just sandwich the pieces I've already made. These guys here. To go on to, on, on to the rack itself and then just sandwich the two between there with the gasket in between. Uh, I should have thought about that originally. I think the thought process was kind of blocked if I had to make a new bracket, but I think part of me didn't want to actually modify the solar panel's aluminum frame or whatever. I, I don't know. I wasn't really thinking clearly, but this should work. I got to put some rubber on the feet of these and make a new wire to plug into the battery and test it out. Alrighty. Got it all mounted up here. The other side, you can see that. Wiring ran through here, a little hole here. I'm going to zip tie this down so it prints the rail. There, so it won't bounce around when I need it to. Clamp it down, throw a piece in the middle, and bolt it back. Run up in that molding. Drop that right here. the charge controller and the Bluetooth device up underneath here and hook it up over that. As you can see right here, we are getting power and everything's working. It's temporary enough to where I could probably throw it up in about 20-25 minutes. Uh, I will be making a little wooden stand to hold the charge controller and a couple of accessory ports here probably in the next video so I can actually use the battery instead of just charging it and I'm kind of glad I did this I'm gonna leave it on for a few days let the battery charge up it was down to about 40% with taking the camper apart and speaking of which let me go ahead and show you what's been going on with that a little depressing I'm kind of sad dealing with it 
but eventually it's going to get taken completely apart. There's the couch, the bed, electronic suite, and all that other good stuff. And completely taking it down. It's sad. I hate having to do it. Especially considering how slow work has been. That's why I got the truck in the first place to start doing higher end clientele. But I'm kind of caught in a catch 22 for about three weeks, four weeks from airing of this video with the government trying to get a do business as license. They've closed the They've closed the office down. I've got an appointment in like two, three weeks, and I've got another background check after that before I can even start working on it. That's why I decided to do this. I had the time, and I'm not really doing anything. And other than wasting an entire piece of aluminum there, well, in there, and buying another strip, it was pretty much, pretty much free. It's just using existing materials I already had. But, uh, yeah. Hope you enjoyed this little video, in between build videos. Uh, should be going on a camping trip, like I said, sometime end of February and beginning of April. And I'll be camping in the back of this. It's seven feet from the back of the front seat to the uh, back hatch here. So I'll be able to put my bedding in there, no problem. Just put a piece of wood, uh, plywood in between there so I can Make sure it's a nice flat thing for a bed. Wouldn't be too bad. I'll be able to run the refrigerator off my battery and solar panels, so won't have to use the truck's battery. Which is a bonus. Oh, speaking of which, I did already set up an always hot plug right here. Because I do sit in this thing a lot, and it is nice to have a plug that doesn't turn off. I can also, this is powerful enough with a heavy enough gauge wire. I could run my gaming laptop off of that so I don't have to worry about the little rinky dink 12 volt outlets they've got in these vehicles. The, it does have a nice feature. It does have a, an AC 110 in it. But as you can see from the cover, this sucker only pulls 150 watt. At peak, my uh, laptop pulls 220, I think. So that's fun. Got some USB ports over there. I mean, the truck's really nice. I mean, I really, really like it. It's a bit big. I'm not used to that. I'm used to little cars. As you can obviously tell if you've watched any of my other videos. But it's nice. I like seats, all that good stuff. Grab all the seats from back here. I'm not going down. Oh. Anyway, yeah. Hope you enjoyed it, and hope you, and I'll see you next video. Thanks for watching.